how are you? Welcome to See You All, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans. And that includes Nigeria, especially. It's the most populous black country in the world. I just got off the phone with a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, who attended a three month, uh, uh, a diplomatic ev event three months ago and was really sad and disturbed because um, an ambassador of a, an Eastern European country asked him as a Nigerian, why are Nigerians hated around the world? I heard him, I heard the pain in his voice. He's a young man who's building his career and has to struggle with a very, with this reputation about Nigeria. And as a recent YouTuber and social, um, social, social media content creator focused on, on promoting empowering information about Nigeria, Nigerians, Africa and Africans, I'm, I've come across comments on my platform regarding why questions around Nigerians. You know, there's a negative perception of Nigerians around the world, and I don't think so. In my experience, um, there is some, there is some kind of grudging respect for Nigerians and um, some envy of Nigerians, I would say, and I, I, and I can understand why. Nigeria is the most populous black country in the world, and uh, coupled with that, that, res that resources, that in terms of human capital is the fact that it's a country that is so naturally blessed. Nigeria is rich. Sadly, that the wealth of the country has not been used for the upliftment of all Nigerians, but Nigeria is a rich country. It's the most populous black country in the world, and there's wealth, natural wealth, to accompany that, that number, you know, in population. Though the resources in the country is not used for the upliftment of everybody, <laughs> there's still poverty in Nigeria. What it means is that many Nigerians have access to individual wealth, sadly, and, and, and that wealth empowers them around the world. You see, in the last few months, we faced a plague. We've realized that in the midst of COVID-19, the threat of COVID-19, many Blacks, hundreds of thousands of blacks around the world went out on the, on the street to demonstrate, to make a clear statement that they faced a stronger, bigger, more threatening plague, and that was anti-black racism. I need to emphasize this, anti-black racism. Anti-black racism has driven a lot, of, a lot of exploitation and abuse of blacks around the world. In many cultures, in many regions, anti-black racism drove colonialism drove apartheid, drove slavery, and that manifests itself in different ways. And all these exploitation were justified by naming and branding negatively. The whole purpose of colonial, black, black Africa being colonized was, was based on, on a messaging of savagery, on being uncivilized. Well, basically it was exploitation to build Europe to build Europe, you know, black African countries was, you know, African countries were exploited to build Europe. And this level of branding to justify exploitation happens today. So Nigeria, with them as the most populous black country in the world, is branded, the men are branded as negative, as, as in a negative light. And this keeps them from equal access to engage in economic activities around the world. So this is, this is it. Nigerians are not hated. Nigerians are, as a black, most populous black country in the world, Nigeria as a country is facing what blacks around the world face. The castigation, the demonization, the, the negative branding to justify exploitation, the fear of blackness. All this is made it out to Nigeria as a country. But this is the bottom line. You know, we fellow Nigerians must stop buying into that narrative because on my platform, in defending Nigerians, even those accused of scam, I've said even if they're accused, they must have access to legal representation, equally like anybody else in the world. And he, if, if found guilty, yes, face the consequences of their action, but they cannot be presumed guilty before facing the court of law. And uh, in that, I've had fellow Nigerians who say, oh, there are other Nigerians who give us a bad name. And there are many Nigerians who think, if I go on social media and condemn fellow Nigerians, I will get a visa to travel abroad. There's this word going around that if you apply for a visa as a Nigerian, they go on your social media activity to see if you be, you're perceived to, to, to be questionable. So you may not get a visa. Many Nigerians love to travel. So they never say they never say about commenting or when they comment, they try to say they are these Nigerians that are bad, they give us a bad name. 
stop it, fellow Nigerians. It doesn't matter. What you're dealing with has nothing to do with separating yourself from other Nigerians. The image, everything is on us all. Then for fellow Africans who join this narrative, please understand the role of Nigeria in the continent. It's the most populous black country in the world. Human resources is a capital. That population is a capital. We're dealing with a world where we have the you know, <laughs> European Union. They're pulling together now to pull resources together to, to work, to leverage their role and process in the, in, in, everywhere in the world. This is no time you want to start separating yourself from the major, big resource you have in the continent. That is Nigeria, its population and wealth. Now, for blacks around the world that engage in the anti-Nigerian rhetoric, understand that you may be participating in self-hatred. Yes, you may be participating by a goal, by, by a, a movement of anti-black racism that continues today. Nigeria is a threat by being the most populous black country in the world and being wealthy. It carries the well-being of the black world on it as well. The upliftment of Nigeria is a benefit to the world, especially the black world. Nigeria is not hated in the, around the world. Begrudgingly respected, yes. Envied, yes. Because Nigeria, we know over 200 million people in the world are empowered, positive, resilient, optimistic, and basically, not docile. Yes, Nigerians will not be the kind of Africans or blacks who will stay quiet in the midst of any kind of discrimination. Don't speak up. And that might make a couple, some people, not too comfortable with the way they'll rather see blacks or Africans around the world. Thank you.